let me let let me get back to this uh, to this thing that no evil can uh, can get through the zero point because this is from for me a very crucial thing because what I experience as the, uh, the zero point is what I would call the here and now and here and now is not in time and not in space because if we talk about here many people think oh this is now the the seat I'm sitting on and the body that is sitting on the seat but this is not here it takes time to get into this perception of nervous response and, and all this kind of stuff that creates this idea of a body sitting on, uh, on a chair, for instance, watching th this video now. Uh, and the, the now is not in time, because uh, time is just a concept of, uh, well, a linear concept usually used uh, to, to describe motion in space and so when I experience here and now that's exactly uh, what I experience as this zero point and this is where people also find uh, a surprising peace and a joy and love in their hearts which is based on nothing uh, like what you call the uncreated state because it's just there. It was. It has already been there, and it has always been there, and it will always be there. It is. That's what being means. And uh, what you said about um, the the next step, kind of, and and uh, becoming moral and um, integral beings, uh, from my perspective, is the the development of the solar plexus. Because uh, in ancient times, um, there was no solar plexus. But when we were confronted with this new uh, situation, with this sun, uh, there was accidentally, uh, uh, instantaneously, much more light on this planet. So our eyes developed in a completely new way. And this affected our solar plexus, our ability to feel and it, all re it also brought uh, this thing of power games on this planet, which is the kind of shadow side of it. So we all have to face uh, this mm, responsibility for power in our system. And uh, this is by feeling, by feeling and by seeing, by opening our eyes and by feeling um, and evolving into feeling more and this of course leads to um, entering through this zero point entering through this here and now which has always been there and it's that's why i say it's not a mystery in that sense like uh, the religions or the those spiritual cults try to tell us that you have to obey to God or you have to obey to this to guru the hierarchy, uh, and then the third you, degree, get, you right? get rewarded. 30th degree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's exactly. unconditional. So, yeah, absolutely. It's unconditionally given to each one of us. Exactly. And so let's, let's now get to this um, present situation. What is the, the, the story behind this Conflict. I mean, of course, you can say, okay, they want Ukraine and they want to do fracking there and they want to rob them the land and whatever. But what is really behind this story? I mean, well, uh, Menachem Mendel Schneerson and his, uh, his uh, pamphlet. But so what is, what is your take on the current situation, especially in context of this uh, quantum physics background and and the human uh, development into into a new uh, state of being. Well, you, you see, the point is with um, uh, managing global management is that people who actually go manage the uh, or try to manage the planet in its entirety, they are not they are beyond uh, profit interests already. You know, because if you, like, generation of generation, you had plenty of everything, you don't actually think about, um, you think about preserving it, but you, your uh, focus actually gets on other things. 
So, so these people, they are precisely about actually um, um, sp spiritual control. And they enjoy uh, manipulating other people. This is actually what is most horrible about these people, you know. And um, um, they understand that if they will not uh, hold this technology back, they will actually will lose control. This is another horrible thing about uh, Quantum Leap. Because Quantum Leap, it actually will open to each person, each man and woman, each human on this earth, unlimited, unconditional access to information, unlimited information, unlimited energy, you know, so each one is, will actually become independent and sovereign, uh, as we actually are by the, uh, you know, right of, of birthright, you know. So, and this year was announced the year of Moshe Ach, 5775, so it's a mystic year for, um, for um, Talmudic Jews, we uh, are Hazars, Turks from Russian, um, great mother. And uh, there are different groups in the world, power groups, uh, which include, uh, I would say, um, BRICS countries, um, uh, the survival of the Third Reich, which is, who still didn't come out, and um, the Talmudic uh, Zionists, uh, or so-called uh, Satanic Zionist Alliance. They, each one of them have... Um, different uh, story of the history, different story of ideology and morality. And uh, we see right now, I see right now, they're trying to you know, negotiating, for example, between the Third Reich people and uh, Satanic Zionist Alliance about this so-called Nordic aliens, which I believe is stupid uh, idea as the reptilian invasion, because I am a Nordic alien, okay? <laughs> look at me, I look very, very Nordic. And um, we came from the North Pole, and um, we came uh, in waves. And they, in this planet has cyclical cycles of evolution and devolution. And um, uh, nations and people who exist on this planet, they exist simultaneously on different uh, layers of history. Some people exist in some uh, epoch of history and other people in another epoch of history. So you can't actually force upon them the other epoch, you know? So they exist simultaneously in this kind of Taurus, and they are op some of them are opposites. So they, this is okay. This is how it's supposed to be. And um, we, come, we came in waves. And um, what reaches this planet is the information signal, Information wave signal. It doesn't have any racial or national national uh, 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 criteria. So this is not Nazism and not racism. The signal doesn't have any, uh, you know, blue eye. It does have blue eyes and blonde hair, right? So, but people who actually materialize in this dimension and in solar system, they were traveling on the ships on Vimanas, White Maras, and White Manas. Because they were traveling with non-gravity, they became giants. So that's how we got giants, right? They didn't have so sun, so that's how, how we got uh, pale skin and basically blonde hair. That's all, you know? And then um, uh, there were wars, and there were many wars, global wars that destroyed civilizations on this planet. And the last war was uh, 14, approximately 14,000 years ago. The previous war was approximately 40,000 years ago. We have uh, megalithic cities who were be which were built by giants, you know, huge stones, which our civilization, our technology is not capable to handle. These stones have plasma weapon uh, signs, right? We have... Um, Lakes in Karelia with uh, the remainders of nuclear weapon, uh, uh, nuclear weapon radiation, nuclear weapons usage. So, and uh, some uh, civilization got to the level of such level of devolution that they became half beast, half human. So they actually lost the ability to focus their zero center. So they, so so the development was not from the monkey to the human, but from the human to the monkey, because the humanoid genome is more ancient than the genome of monkeys, and. Um, so there is no one uh, 
uh, hist history that we can offer, you know. So there is no um, Old Testament story or Sumerian story. There is a story of the cyclical coming into this planet of the information wave signal of our ancestors. And they are coming constantly to this uh, planet. And Russians in Russia um, preserved this uh, signal the most, uh, in the most pure form. Uh, Russian is the most archaic form of Sanskrit, and it is actually the uh, intergalactic language because the scientists had a, an experiment. Russian scientists had an experiment when they tried brain of infants with different languages, and only and infants uh, got response only to Russian language. So. Russians preserved uh, this uh, signal in the most purity. That is why Russia right now is the most advanced technologically. That is why we, Russians, right now can control biosystems, climate, and geophysical process, processes by the remote laser signal. Not other, not other country. Also, we, Kazakhs, you know, I'm a Kazakh. I'm a colonial in the Kazakh military of Irkutsk. Um, Irkutsk International Military, Kozak Military, we Kazakhs have the skills of the non-contact combat, combat. So, you understand? Non-contact combat, only we, no other nation on the earth. So, that is why right now there is a genocide precisely of us, Russians, because still we live on this planet, on this, this dimension, they can do this shit. I repeat, shit that they are trying to install on this planet. Slavery, which would transform, um, cyber slavery, which would transform humans into biorobots controlled remotely. And I can just make, use this uh, interview also to announce that uh, with this technology, we can actually destroy the chips, nanochips of the biorobots remotely. And as, more, as much genetic they will be, the more easily we can destroy them. So, and right now the struggle is precisely against Russia and Russians. It's against uh, these areas in Ukraine because this was one of the cradles of our civilization. The fight right now is about pyramids in Lugansk. This is what it is about. These pyramids are bigger than the pyramids in Egypt. Okay? It's be bigger than the pyramids in Bosnia and bigger than the pyramids in, in China. So if these pyramids in Lugansk will come out right now, this will clear, open the eyes, not just of me and you and our, you know, small, uh, limited audience, but pe to people on the grand scale on this planet, that the entire history paradigm, science paradigm, religion paradigm is completely and totally fake. You know, and uh, uh, Russians were the gods of the Sum Sumer or Samar, Samara, Samar, Samarians are the Russians. And um, moreover, after the last war, the entire Europe was under ice. And every European, every white person lived on the territory of Russia and spoke Russian in the Scandinavian epos, Edda. Sweden, Swedish people, they say that... Uh, they lived on the territory of Russia, above the Aral Sea. So they were the gods of Sumer, okay? They got knowledge from the more ancient Aryan, Russian Aryan tribes. And then they went the ice in this, on the, you know, on the Scandinavian, uh, you know, islands and uh, um, land. So this ice began to melt. They actually went to get back to the north and founded the small Sweden, you know. So there was the big Sweden in the territory of Russia, and then the small Sweden on the mod in the modern Swiss, Swiss, uh, um, Sweden. And uh, um, so every, every and ev so every 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 basically European is Russian, and um, they even spoke Russian. Brits spoke Russian. Swedish spoke Russian. The name of the country was Svetia, which is a Russian word meaning svet, uh, light. And uh, moreover, Rome was founded by Russians. There is the map in the Vatican which, co which shows Etruria, small Etruria, is on the, uh, you know, on the territory of modern Italy. Etruscans founded Rome. They lived in Etruria. So this map shows small Etruria in Tuscany. 
and bigotry on the territory of Russia. And when you ask Italians, where did Italians, where did the Ruskians live? They say they left to the, to the northeast. So basically, they, they went to the northeast. So they went back to the territory of Russia. So in other words, Roman civilization, Greek civilization, Sumerian civilization, and Egyptian civilization were founded by us, Russian aliens, which includes Brits, Swedish people, Germans, Celts, uh, French Celts, and, um, uh, you know, uh, Normans, and uh, um, also yes. very important thing, just to finish, why also Russia? There is another very crucial point. In Russia, in, uh, in uh, Western Siberia, there is a plateau, geological uh, plate, which is the most stable plate on this planet. You know, so when the, when they were happening these wars, right, global wars, nuclear, plasma, psychotronic wars in the past, people survived on the territory of Russia simply, but the, 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 there is the geological plate that is uh, that can survive in 140 scenarios of global catastrophes. It's not my mythology, okay? It was calculated by the Institute for National Security in Russia. That is why their struggle right now is for the Lugansk pyramids, for this plate in, Eastern, in Western Siberia, and for the North Pole, which is more, mostly Russian. Because only through North Pole we can make trips um, through the portal to the, into the other dimensions. And also we can actually put generators in the North Pole, because North Pole is literally a causative mirror, the ionosphere is formed like a causative mirror, so it allows scientifically to get this reflection and refraction in the diffraction grating go on, you know? So it's, 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 you can't make quantum leap if you don't have access to this uh, natural uh, portal. This, why it's, this is what it is about, because if with these technologies we can have unlimited access to energy, food, and resources through the process of, of transportation from quantum vacuum. So gold can be mined from quantum non-locality, oil, and all other things. Okay. So, so what is what your, your final, final conclusion on, uh, on where this conflict is, is going to lead? I mean, some people are afraid of a third world war. I mean, though the second never was ended, so how could there be a third? <laughs> in, well, in, my, in my, but, uh, my, uh, and mm -hmm. some people say it will be a local conflict. Some people say Putin is a traitor and is only about to hand over Russia to the to the and we uh, uh, new world order like Hitler did with Germany uh, before. So there are many theories, there are many concepts on this, uh, uh, where this conflict will lead. Uh, I remember in our last interview you mentioned China attacking from the south, uh, then at a certain point uh, that there is a plan to invade from the south into Russia. So, uh, what is what is your take on the, the uh, current situation and uh, what um, do people in Europe need to expect? Especially, I mean, at the moment, this month, we are facing the most uh, tense astrological situation also. Uh, it's a, a, a Pluto-Uranus square, which will be this month for the last time. And the last time uh, we had a Pluto-Uranus square, uh, the Third Reich was um, was actually uh, starting out in, in 32, 33, 34, and then a few years later there was a, a huge war. So, uh, what is what is what you're expecting of the the coming years? Well, um, uh, I actually my, my prognosis is um, positive. Um, first of all, I don't believe that Putin is a traitor. And um, he is, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, tra uh, he is, uh, you know, Russian culture got, uh, he's the Russian culture is digesting people, you know. They were German rulers in Russia, like Peter the Great is imposter. He was the exchange for the Dutch guy. 
who he came back without knowledge of Russian, he sent away his Russian wife without even seeing her, he established the slavery in Russia, and he burned ancient books. Right now, it's a 7,000th year, um, right now, in Russia. It's not 2015. The calculation of time is now it's seven, seven, beyond 7,000. It's older than, than um, is, uh, Talmudic uh, time, you know? So, so he did it, but Russia digested these people and they became willingly or unwillingly Russian patriots. The yes, Catherine, the Catherine the Great uh, was a German empress of Russia and uh, she became the patriot of Russia and during her reign every third German in Germany immigrated to Russia. So there was a huge German community in Russia and Russia welcomed Germans because we genetically are the same. So right now I believe that both Germans and French they got so pissed off by, by five eyes hiding from them their, their major projects of global domination, which are, first, the building up of the um, artificial global intellect. Okay, the French and German, they didn't participate, you know. And second, the scenario of the fake alien invasion, which was again done by, uh, by you know, their, uh, by, um, uh, their backs, um, behind their backs. So th this information got leaked to them, and they realized that they will not be included in this uh, Satanist-Zionist alliance. So in other words, uh, we have this major, major you know, uh, the, uh, destruction of their alliance, you know, between Germany, France, and uh, England, and the United States. This means that there is no front, joint front against uh, Russia. This is the first thing. The second thing is that um, uh, th there is the split between... Uh, they, was, they were negotiating, basically, the Third Reich remainders in Latin America and the uh, Satanic Zionists uh, Satanist, Satanist Zionist in the United States uh, when the, the, there was uh, the Bush administration of the Bush father and Bush uh, son and um, but still there is the major split because there is a major uh, ideological difference between them uh, because uh, because Talmudic Jews they're just genocidal uh, Nazi basically who want just to enslave and destroy other peoples, you know, and they 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 would destroy um, even the traitors who work for them. This is the, the how they do the business, you know, and uh, so this is the second split that is actually destroys their power, takes away power from them, and the third split that happened, and I predicted it in advance that there would be the split in the Satanic Zionist alliance itself. So in other words, the split between Talmudic Jews. Um, Shabbatic Jews of the United States and Russia themselves and British Empire. This happened when uh, they tried to give uh, sovereignty to Scotland. So the sovereignty of Scotland means the destruction of the British Empire itself. So the, the, it means that the British Queen itself will get Yugoslavian scenario, which is complete total humiliation of the British Empire, you know, there will be no more British Empire because the goal of Freemasons is to destroy every religion beside, uh, be, uh, but, but Judaism and every empire be, but um, British Empire, but right now British Empire itself is given the same fate as the French Empire, Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Russian Empire, German Empire, right? So this is the major split. So there is no unity in their camp. That's why I don't see, I don't see that victory is actually uh, will be theirs. Also this year they they planned as the year of Shmata, Sh Shimata, or Shmata, which is the year of jubilee. This means that the year when they do the financial crash, collapse, global collapse. They were preparing this uh, year for many, for a long time. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1994, they started building the underground city in Denver. Right now, just a couple of days ago, they closed the gold vault in uh, the city of London, and basically transferring all the gold to the city of Denver, underground uh, city beneath the uh, Denver airport. And then 
the report has actually frescoes which shows what they want to do. They want to do the artificial tsunami to destroy New York. They want basically to just wipe out the East Coast and um, do the financial collapse in order to inst to instill uh, the the global domination by the global artificial intellect. That's what they want they want to do. But because Germany and France. And these remainders of the German uh, Reich in uh, Latin America, they are not on the same page. The, the crisis is possible. Yes, the Moshe, uh, 5775 year, it's for this year. So it's all possible, so there will be hard times. But I don't believe in the final victory. And um, they, they lost the opportunity of the preemptive nuclear strike at Russia because Russia rebuilt its, um, you know, its power and it has much more advanced weapons than they have. You know, this uh, Donald Cook in the Black Sea was shut down completely by the very primitive uh, old Hibini weapon, um, electromagnetic weapon from the old plane. So, in other words, all these um, data centers in, in, in Holland by the water, in Geneva by the water, by Lugano Lake, they can be shut down very easily. And all this uh, floating databases of the um, data centers of Google. So they lost time. It's over for them. And also this technology, the quantum leap technology is here and now. And um, Indians, Chinese, Germans, they're well aware of it. And um, it's over. And the whole scenario of uh, this kind of uh, uh, you know, God-chosen uh, Turks from Russian mother, it's over also because it's it's... They can't. They can't. Uh, you see, they can uh, destroy cities. They can destroy artifacts. They can burn libraries. By but they can't change their own genome. And you know, by their genome, genome, they are Russians. Rothschilds. So they are Russian people. You know, their maternal DNA is Russian, and their paternal DNA is from Turks. And Turks are just southern, uh, basically southern Aryans. From the city of Tark in Iran. Okay. So, what you said about um, the economical um, meltdown uh, fits exactly to what I see uh, astrologically, also, because there, this is a Jupiter year now. And if you trace back Jupiter years up to, to 1945, uh, you have a Jupiter year all seven years. There was always um, uh, economically a hard time. There were crises, there were um, breakdowns, whatever. You know? The oil crisis in 73, the second oil crisis in 1980, and you had the, the uh, in 2008 you had this uh, Lehman Brothers crisis, and so you find a crisis in all Jupiter years, so I'm not surprised about any economical meltdown this year. So let's see what, what is going to happen. I thank you very much for your time and uh, for pointing out your unique view of the world and mankind. And let's hope that you're right. And uh, we are Oh, I forgot to, to say another thing. Can I just say future. one more thing? Yeah, uh, go ahead. The, just to conclude um, our conversation, um, you see, this uh, f this first civilization, the joint civilization, when uh, which had one language for all of us, which was actually Russian language, which is the ar most archaic form of Sanskrit, according to he uh, to Indian uh, Sanskritologists, their expertise. So this um, civilization was Kozak civilization. That's why we have the highest uh, divinity in India, Atman, which is Ataman. For Kozaks. Uh, Kazakhs, right? The leader, military leader, is Ataman. So that's why we have Atman in India and we have Aton in uh, Egypt. And the early pharaohs have Russian DNA. They have R1B. And the most ancient samples of this DNA is, is also R1A are found in Siberia, in Russia. Precisely because the geolog geological plate is stable. So the civilization survived there always, you know. So why I'm saying this, I want to also use this opportunity of this interview to deliver to Brit British people, specifically to them, because there was for a long time between British people, 
not between the, so, so much as Germans and Russians, but between German, British people and Russians, there will kind of rift and competition and war and all this kind of uh, struggle for the domination in the world. So I would like to deliver to them that they are actually Kazakhs because um, Kazakhs, uh, the Scythians, Scythians, and Scythians call themselves Saks. So Kasak, Kas, Sak, so Saks. So, and they actually, um, uh, British people, you know, from England and from Scotland, they have the genealogies, and their genealogies, the first ancestor is written as Kithen, or Sak, or Kasak. It's funny that you, that you mentioned so that, they are but brothers, in Germany, you know, in, sisters, in Germany, know, there are also us, Saxons, us, you, know? you know? Yes, precisely, and the I, same thing, I, yes. I am a descendant of Saxons in Germany. So, so, you're me, so. you're us, you know, <laughs> Kazakhs, you know. So, and there is Kazakh, is, um, you know, they lived in Palestine also, because the, there is the city of Skisapolis in uh, Palestine, and this is the most ancient city in Palestine, in the territory of modern Israel. It's um, dated to, it's dated 4000 BC, but it's much older, and there is the city of Yermuk. And we, uh, some, uh, uh, no, Kazakhs, they call themselves Yermak because um, of the Yarma, or Amazon woman, the military leader of Kazakhs. Amazons lived on the territory of Russia. There is uh, the river Yerma in Siberia also. And so the river Yermuk is in the Jordan. And the um, guards of Jordan King are Kazakhs from Cuba and Russia. Can you believe it? So in, so in other okay. words, we need to stop fighting in our family. Sure. Thank you very much, Irene. And let's wish for a peaceful and harmonious Smarter. future Smarter. for mankind. <laughs> okay, so I, yeah, thank you very much for this interview. And uh, let, us, uh, let us just concentrate on the positive, uh, uh, positive side and belief. Uh, they say that if 10% of mankind will get this information, it will become the reversible, uh, irreversible process. So we need sure. to get 10%. And, um, well, thank you very much, Irene. Thank and, you. Uh, until next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.